Good afternoon, everybody. Here I am. My name is Fitzroom Abraham. Going to translate what I hear in English for those interested in finding out the whole story on the ground. Thank you. بغبره شبرا عينو سينو زلو بوليسي تريور لهم بتوم غبره شبرا بتوم غبره شبرا برجيت زعبولو زعب خيا خلبي اين كس ليسن جيرمان ذا بوليسمان واز اتاك باي تيريس جروب كول برجيت نهامدو ان ذا بروسيس اوف بروتكتين بيسفول لوفول اريتريا ريفيجيز فروم ذا جروبس ان وارنتيد فايلنس ان هولاند Well, this is the head of the group, the leader of the group, and he's saying if we don't have any military skills. Our option is only to die out of the game. We have seen it all, and our priority has become fighting the police. police <laughs> Translation reads like this. It is the police that is protecting the Eritreans. And any type of police is designed to destruction and it's none of our business we cannot succeed if we are afraid of the police the police knows that the Eritreans in question celebrating in festivities and willingly are gathering out there to support the dictator and the police knows that Police knows that they are the dictator's slaves. The police knows that we're just with a cause. But if it tries to disrespect us and respect the dictators, what meaning does it have in front of us? They can bring dogs, guns, and cars. It's none of our business. <laughs> The police have given the law. Have got on my plan is the Bazolo Saturn. Mena, but then Hamadu, Malat Hagawikon, but then Hamadu Malat Mabel. Maul Ham Salah, Ham Salah, Ham Bitis Amu, but the Amu Donut Saki Malat. But then Hamadu Malat Gonis are highly Malat. But then Hamadu Salamau in the Honoru, where Casalamau is then let's down down the session on never. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, very interesting. What this guy is talking about is he's talking about the group and it reads like this. Unless we as group members do what we have been doing in the past, the way we're going now with a slower pace doesn't mean anything. Abiding to the police, whatever they're saying, Whatever the police call, call slow, low of the planet for those who are in the planet. We, Birgit Nahamadu, are illegal. Birgit Nahamadu means tornado that drinks the blood of its enemies. Well, 
at this point, what he's talking about is Brigade Nahamadu means tornado that drinks the blood of its enemies. Brigade Nahamadu is a violent group. Had this group been peaceful, we would have lived shouting down, down the dictator, down, down the dictator Isaias on every street there is. People who did that for 30, 40 years didn't get anything except worn out shoes and I'm sorry, I cannot say it. Very filthy. It's not proper to say it. It has to do something with some kind of sexual perversion. Thank you. Well, he's talking a lot of things here. This group is violent. It's a violent force that all people have to know. It means a violent force. I'm not going for Eritrea or something like that. My goal is to teach the younger crowd who their enemies is. I don't care about this country. The useless that everybody peace on. That I could have used despite my fallen people in the struggle for independence. I don't care about it. Let it be like Afghanistan or go to Malay to grind. I just don't care. Uh, well, at this point, I got to tell you something. There is some written in here. Actually, he put it, I believe, John Black. I think this is probably his Twitter, Twitter account. And I'll tell you what exactly it means. Definitely, it's about uh, a prominent Dutch politician that you can see on the picture and the reading says Brigade Nahamadou members are not Eritreans, she says, but rather Tigrians. Surprisingly. Now what, what is your plan A? What is plan A group going to do about this? Whether we're Tigrians and Eritreans don't wait and see. She has to wait and see. That's all we can tell her. I think this is a threat. I do believe this is a threat. Die brigade Namedou, die buiten al dat geweld heeft gepleegd, dat zijn eigenlijk geen Eritreërs. Dat zijn Ethiopiërs, dat zijn jongeren die uit de Tigray regio komen. En Tigray is ook een volk. En daar, daar in dat gebied is al een paar jaar nu een burgeroorlog gaande. En tot op heden is die niet gewonnen door hen. En die willen nu hun woede, hun frustratie, hun boosheid uiten. Well, this afreageren. Het of de attack, ladies and gentlemen. This politician was the target of the attack. Basically, she's just giving her testimony. I don't understand what she's saying in Dutch, but people have told me. They have translated it to me. For me, she's saying that this group of hoodlums basically are Tigrians, pretending Eritreans and not Eritreans at all. Met zwaar fysiek geweld tegen deze mensen. With the politician, these people are TPLF oriented mafia terrorists. They operate with a large amount of money from behind. Okay. They put people into miseries, into wars. They have been the main cause of the problem in the Tigray region, where about one million people have perished in unnecessary wars of attribution against international harmony. Therefore, we have to expose everything about them. From now on, in any language that we can talk, for giving your testimony, for telling the truth about these guys. We appreciate it. And you have the right to protect your nation, your society from these hoodlums, if necessary, if necessary, through deportation or imprisonment. So, 
and we appreciate it. We're supposed to live here by the law, securing the safety of Americans and Europeans and whoever lives in those countries. Okay, those people, those individuals do not represent the Eritreans. And thank you very much one more time. A lot of things to make money. They do a lot of things to make dirty money. Uh, there are a lot of political organizations behind them, especially the Tigray Liberation Front, TPLF. And back in Africa, they have messed it up. So many people have died in the useless world that it fought, sacrificing over 1.5 million people and still trying to fight with 270,000 reserves dependent on food from the whole world. People are starving. But let me tell you how the cash has been smuggled in Africa across the borders, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the footage. This is the way they smuggle money around the borders in Africa. Okay, and thank you. Well, this money is hidden some kind of way in different kind of styles to smuggle and then to use it for terrorism. Some of the money is collected here in Europe and America and some has been rubbed off, ripped off from the people actually. People in those, in those areas, in Tigray especially and around the Eritrean boundaries and the Amhara, Ethiopian boundaries. This is the way they smuggle money. This is the way they make money. This is the way they produce, they collect dirty money that costs us a lot of blood, actually, all over the places. A lot of money has been sent to these groups who are fighting back into crime. In the name of charity from many media here in America and also in Europe. And my intention is to expose them one after the other. Thank you very much. Thank you. What we see now is the guys who try to smuggle code at the borders between Eritrea and Tigray, basically for whatever purpose he was trying to do this. I have no idea about the details, yet this is exactly how it looks like. Modus operandi of terrorism, basically. Chin is obvious, ladies and gentlemen, because we do believe the refugees who come to the United States or to Europe have to respect the law and the people their culture and other kind of thing. United States and Europe are not for violence. They're not fit. They're not fit for violence. Violence doesn't have to be here. There is no legal violence, basically. We have violence everywhere, but everybody tries to put them under control, and this group has to be controlled some kind of way. No politician deserves an insult or a terrible approach as such of hatred or something for just picking the mind. What I'm saying is that politician has a right to defend her country. Uh, these hoodlums are actually talking different kind of words in Tigrinya, the native language of Tigrians and Eritreans, some Eritreans, of course. And therefore, they don't think the Americans know, they don't think the Europeans know, but here we are, me as an American. And as a citizen of the whole world, spiritually, will defend the rights of Americans for information, rights of Europeans for information. And here I am, because I'm a very peaceful person, and thank you very much. One more time, we appreciate you too for giving us, giving us this opportunity to tell the truth about what's going on in America and in Europe. A lot of cash has been collected. A lot of millions of dollars have been collected in different times. And we'll bring it, God willing, a piece at a time. For now, I'll see you in the next show. And thank you very much. Be peaceful. Americans deserve peace. Europeans deserve peace. And the Eritreans deserve peace. And the whole world basically deserves peace. Okay? We've got to fight until the end to make sure that the refugees will survive peacefully anywhere in the host countries. Thank you, God.
The refugee status is here to be supported, of course, not to be rejected because of these hoodlums, lost opportunities. No, we cannot afford it. Humanity has to be preserved in justified manner. And thank you very much. Love, peace for you.